Good afternoon, uh, all participants uh, in this call. Thank you so much for being us, being with us uh, uh, now. And let us kind of kick off with the session. Uh, in order to do that, probably um, just to let like, a couple of words to uh, present me uh, as one of the directors of the program. Uh, I don't know if um, in the meantime, let us push the also the floor and in terms of our marketing team to just have the other slide with the with the with the image of the of the program uh, but let me let me just uh, present uh, present me uh, in a in quite brief uh, minutes basically you know my background has always been uh, you know, linked to markets uh, I worked many years and you know, my first role was more and you know, working for the Portuguese Treasury and uh, uh, pitching and creating the first internationals of Portugal uh, in terms of international market. And then over the recent years, uh, basically, uh, I then I moved to a couple of international banks, even Amaro and Citigroup, where I stayed you know, more than 11 years there. Uh, and, and more recently, I was one of the board members of uh, Bani Fimstement, which was basically a resolved institution in Portugal. And the mandate was really to, you know, to sell the bank or to liquidate it. And so basically based on, at the same time, I've been always you know, uh, participating and, 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 and developing a career also at Catolica. And so my, you know, I would say that you know, my, I'm kind of uh, an hybrid experience between uh, the academic world and also the the practical one um and as a result of that over the last 17 years i've been always linked to the master in finance uh, finance program uh, in fact i uh, i started to um, to conduct one of course one of the courses since the first edition um, and over the last 10 years i've been one of the directors of the program and it's been a pleasure to you know to have you know uh, have the possibility the possibility to uh, not only to develop new ideas with students but also to capture uh, the you know, the feedback and also the incentives uh, from you know the, from the lectures so you know over these uh, 17 years i would say that you know many crises occurred unfortunately apparently we are now living another one with uh, with the banking uh, uh, sector being again you know on the on the spotlight in terms of the discussion about the uncertainty that we are living uh, and so, and as a result of this long journey you know we were have been able to somehow to adjust the program to the new trends uh, also alongside with the with the the the, the, the partnership with the CFA Institute uh, since the first edition and uh, we initially we were the only ones uh, at, at Catholic uh, having this partnership with the CFA Institute um, and and that allow us not only to collect the feedback and improvements from the institute but also you know to have kind of a, an active role in terms of setting somehow of the sub of the subjects that are discussed uh, over you know in terms of the finance topics over you know over, over the program so uh, i would say that also that which is uh, also something that we are quite proud over you know we have more than four almost 400 participants over this last uh, 17 years um and and we were somehow able to you know improve uh the the, the chances and, and and the careers of many of our uh, participants uh based on the, the the knowledge and the discussions that we had over this period of time so i would say that you know for the time being this would be kind of the key highlights that i would like to present you naturally i'll then i'll i'll be more than happy to uh, re, uh to answer any question that you may have um during the set during the session and then i would pass the floor to uh vanda and flipper hi everyone uh, good afternoon and thank you for joining us uh, today in this uh, information session about the master in finance uh, program my name is uh, Filipe Tchkano, and I'll be your host for the ne next hour or so. As you see, if you have seen, uh, Professor Joaquin Cadet is one of our uh, academic directors, and also uh, the other academic director of the program is uh, Professor José Coyeguetsch, 
Also uh, with us uh, from the team is uh, Vanda Prashkwa, who is our program senior manager. So let's uh, kick off our presentation and please let me share with you uh, our agenda. So today um, I would like to talk about the program overview where we will address the program structure. Uh, we'll speak about also the target audience, key uh, courses um, on the program, the student's profile, what's in it for you, uh, the application process, uh, program costs, and of course, uh, your questions. And if you have any questions, uh, please do interrupt and uh, raise your hand. Uh, I'll do my best. Uh, and also the team will do the best to answer your questions. Philippa, give me just one second. To do your questions, you must use the Q&A that you find at the bottom and write your questions over there and we will see them and address them, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Vanda. Uh, so let's start uh, with the program overview and in particular with the structure of the program. So we use a building block approach where there are two main blocks complemented with specialized seminars and also soft skills training. The first building block includes the foundation uh, of finance courses. These are key modules to standardize knowledge and prepare students for more advanced courses that follow. The courses in this building block are related to corporate finance, asset pricing, capital uh, markets, financial analysis, and also quantitative methods. Participants then build on this foundation uh, through a rich menu of advanced courses in areas such as investment banking, financial innovation, asset management, and advanced uh, corporate financing and valuation. In addition, as I mentioned, there are several uh, frontier of knowledge uh, seminars led by distinguished practitioners and also uh, this is stopped with an immersive um, experience, soft skills training uh, weekend, okay? So in terms of target on the audience of the program, typically uh, our target audience uh, are finance experienced professionals who want to advance in their careers or want to change um, area and get financial um, knowledge, further financial knowledge, I may say so. Lately, uh, we are having a growing uh, number of participants with an engineering background. So let me share with you some facts on the profile uh, of the participants. As you can see here in, in this infographic, 29% uh, uh, of our participants are female participants. Then we have 71% of uh, male participants. The average age of the, our students is 30, but of course, this is just a, an average, if I can say so. We, we have a rather mixed group, um, where we have senior participants as well, more junior participants. In terms of background, uh, the program is now attracting newcomers with different backgrounds who want or need to expand their knowledge into the finance uh, area. As you can see here, 42% is coming from the management um, area, then 33 economics, 12 engineering, and 13 from other science. Okay, now let's go to an important part uh, of the presentation, uh, which is the key courses of the program. The program has in total uh, 17 courses and I have highlighted here um, some of the key ones. The first one I would like to mention is capital markets and alternative investments. And the aim of this course is to provide sound knowledge on structure, organization, 
and performance of capital markets, and also to provide insights on the types of alternative investments. The second course I would like to highlight to you is the fixed income markets. It provides an extended detail uh, on current fixed income markets. As such, some of the topics that are covered are fixed income securities, fixed income markets, asset-backed securities, fixed income valuation, and also credit analysis. The third course I would like to highlight to you is the advanced corporate finance. It provides an in-depth knowledge of corporate restructuring activities with focus on the links between corporate strategic and financial decisions, and then the firm value. Also, uh, let me highlight to you the course Derivative Markets and Advanced Derivative Securities. Um, financial derivatives represent one of the key components of modern financial markets. And the key reason for these is that financial assets um, allowed sharp investors to easily uh, change their risk exposure to their investment portfolios and therefore to, to tailor these portfolios to their needs and, and desires. Lastly, the course I would like to mention is risk management uh, course. The aim of this course is to describe and apply risk management methodologies and also to assess financial crisis. During this course, you'll get um, details on, on credit risk, market risk, LM risk, and also operational risk. And perhaps now we could do a, a, a pause here um, and take advantage of the presence of uh, uh, Professor Zwicky Kedit, and perhaps you have some questions that you would like to, to do. And uh, I'm sure our professor will be able to help us. What I would like also to kind of you know complement what uh, just Flipa said is basically what you know the 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 structure of the program you know it's kind of uh, divided in three uh, key areas. The initial one is really kind of uh, recapping for those that are familiar with the the concepts and you know, key ideas in in terms of finance for other students that may not be as as such as familiar basically you know is kind of introducing and and to ensure that the fundamentals uh, of not only in terms of quantitative methods but also in terms of finance are, are there then and then once we uh, cover those initial and uh, that initial phase then we move to two kind of major topics uh, one is corporate finance and so that's exactly why you see there that you know it's not only about you know the fundamentals of finance but then move to um, to uh, uh, corporate finance and then m a transactions uh, private equity um, and then the other um, path that uh, participants are also um, discussing at the same time is basically capital markets uh, and in order to do that, initially, uh, it's kind of an overall view and more institutional about the market as a whole. And then we go deeper to two specific uh, topics, as you have there, basically fixed income. It's not only about uh, pricing bonds, but in our days, it's extremely important in order to understand the banking activity and uh, even private equity to have a, a better decomposition of risk. And so that's exactly why uh, we spend a couple of time uh, doing that. And then in order to conclude this kind of uh, discussion, naturally derivatives is critical. And, and so that's exactly why, you know, it's not only about thinking in terms of, you know, more vanilla stuff as futures and, and swaps, but also, uh, you know, a pretty detailed analysis in terms of option theory. Uh, and, the, and in that sense, um, this specific course, you know, is really, is really important. Um, then at the same time that we are kind of you know, covering uh, these two uh, key areas uh, in terms of the journey, you know, we have been, uh, we also introduced 
um, also the important um, the um, coding uh, coding course, uh, which is really uh, at the beginning of, of, the, of the of the program, just to ensure that you know all the topics that are debated uh, uh, among the students can easily be you know uh, be expanded in terms of uh, uh, via the the coding capacity that we try to also apply for the discussion. Any questions? You may you may do the, the questions in Portuguese if you feel more comfortable. Please do so. Okay. So now I will, I'm going to move uh, to the advantage uh, of taking the, the program and specifically what's in it for you. In terms of uh, benefits, uh, I would like to, to stress that you will have access to knowledge and latest information on modern finance. You will be uh, eligible through CMVM to register as a qualified professional uh, and able to perform uh, duties as a financial analyst and investment consultant. You will also build up skills and flexibility uh, to successfully foster a financial career at the highest level. You'll gain the insights uh, from leading experts on key issues. Uh, get guidance uh, on and training in preparation for CFA exams level one and, and level two. And for those who are not fully familiar with CFA, uh, let me tell you, this is a global association uh, of investment professionals, and the organization offers the Chartered Financial Analyst uh, designation. And MIF is uh, a CFA university affiliation program. Lastly, in terms of benefits, you can, if you decide to, to top uh, MIF up, with an official master title, Mestrat, uh, by completing one more course and also uh, writing, submitting, uh, and defending uh, a thesis. So, if I may so uh, say so, this I think it's quite an attractive uh, list of uh, benefits. Now, edition number 18 of the program will start this April. And I would like to present to you the timeline of the program. The program is scheduled to start on April the 22nd with the foundation courses. And this block will last until the end of this year. Of course, we'll have uh, the summer break uh, between August and, and September. And then in January, uh, the next year, we'll start the second uh, building block of the program. Uh, and this will go up to July 2024. In between, as I mentioned, we'll have several seminars and of course the soft skills training weekend. The program in total uh, lasts 14 months. The classes are held on Fridays and on Saturdays here in our university campus. So on Fridays, it's uh, after work from 6 to 9.30, and then Saturday mornings, 9.30 to up to 1 p.m. Okay, so now let's check the application process. It is a pretty straightforward uh, process where you need to complete an online form and include your CV, a motivation letter or a, a statement of purpose where you include uh, some information about your background, your key achievements, and, and also your motivation to, to join uh, the program. Then your university uh, transcripts and a reference uh, letter. Uh, then your application is reviewed by the academic directors. The elements which will be assessed in your application are your commitment, your experience, your motivation, 
to benefit from the program, but also to be a valid contributor to the, to the group. If necessary, there will be um, an interview uh, just to, to make sure that you have the right profile to participate in the program. Our recommendation is for participants to have two and a half years of professional experience and a good command of English uh, language. Uh, this is because the classes are delivered in, in English, the study materials are in English, and even the CFA uh, exams, if you wish to take them, are um, in English. So now let's turn into the program costs. All right, so once your application is submitted online, uh, our office gets a notification, receives a notification, and we start the admission process. There is an initial application fee of 100 euros. And if the academic directors give their green light for your admission in the program, the total price, it is 11,000. 760 euros. It can be paid in full or in 14 installments. The price of the program includes uh, all the supporting documentation, coffee breaks with finger food, parking at our university, transcript of records, final certificate, and dinner at the closing uh, session. We do have um, special conditions, uh, namely for um, students who's, who were with us uh, here in Catholica before, but also um, for participants uh, who work in uh, associated entities. One of them is Ordem dos Engenheiros, but uh, we do have also other uh, partnerships with entities that have a long lasting collaboration with our college. So now let's uh, talk about uh, the thesis and, uh, and the master degree. The requirements to proceed to, to the thesis and the master degree are completion of the MIF program with a great point average equal or higher than 14, completion of empirical corporate finance course, and also uh, writing, submitting, and defending a thesis. It is not compulsory to, to proceed with uh, your uh, studies and also writing uh, the thesis, but it can be a plus in, a, in the future. And, if I may say, um, the thesis will get you to the edge and, uh, and beyond. Uh, I think we do have a question um, on the Q&A. Uh, yes, we do. Um, and I saw it already. Um, and thank you so much for the question. Basically, uh, there is no, you know, the, having a background of finance or management is not, you know, it's not critical at all. You know, what we really think that is important is to have somehow a quantitative background or to have at least an understanding of, of, of the quantitative part of the discussion. Uh, why? Because over these uh, 14 uh, months that you have, that you already saw, that which is exactly the period in which the program uh, runs, naturally many of these um, uh, discussions, they are going to be somehow quite technical uh, and technical implies uh, a, a decent understanding of the, the of the quantitative part. So that would be something that for us is somehow important. Thank you, Professor. Any, any other questions you would like to, to ask? Okay, so now I'm going to move uh, to FAQs, and I've just uh, selected a, a short sample of some of the, the FAQs uh, we receive. So the first one is uh, CFA program and Master in Finance are the same thing. Um, no, they are not the same thing, but these two programs um, 
are complementary to, to each other. Um, and as I mentioned already, the MIF program provides detailed guidance and training in preparation for the CFA um, exams. Uh, the second question I have selected is, what is a CFA program partner? Um, and CFA Institute awards CFA university affiliation program status to entities to recognize finance degree programs, which are academic, academically rigorous and also closely aligned to current professional uh, practice. The last question uh, I have selected is during MIF programs, do I have to take exams at the end of each course? And the answer is yes. And you may even uh, also be asked to complete either a group or uh, individual assignments. So from my side, uh, this is what I wanted uh, to, to mention uh, to you about the, the MIF program. And I would like now to, to move uh, with your, your questions. And uh, as such, the, the floor is yours. Please feel free to, to use the Q&A. Um, I think we, got, we have one, one question. Until when can I apply? You can apply until mid April. Let me just sum up some things here that Philippa said and shared with us. One thing that it's very important and uh, it's, it's quite a benefit to our students is that the pro, since we are an affiliated university with the CFA uh, association, this means that each year we have uh, a number of um, scholarships to give to the uh, master in finance students. So this means that uh, if you do the and you enroll in the MIF program, um, you can uh, apply to a scholarship for the uh, exam in the CFA level one and level two, because the program gives uh, a small number of scholarships uh, every year. Um, we have also one thing that we have been seeing for the last years with the program is that this program for people that work in the finance area allows them, gives them a lot of uh, knowledge, um, very strong and uh, very solid. And we usually see a curve, uh, a, a, exponent, a curve that grows in their career. People tend to grow and in their career path. And MIF also contributes a lot for that. Uh, I don't know if you have any more questions. Please feel free to do them. Uh, you can put the questions in Portuguese. We have another question. Well, I will uh, ask uh, Professor Joaquim Cadet to help us with this one. Yeah, this one. Uh, the answer is basically... Uh, it's kind of an hybrid. Why? The topics basically are the same. And every time that we are kind of discussing many of the, uh, the subjects in terms of finance, naturally, those topics are quite similar to what the CFA program uh, and the certification requires. Naturally, um, or, or however, the type of exam that you face in terms of the CFA certification is naturally different versus what we run. And why? Because basically for the CFA certification, you, know, you are going to face 300 questions over two hours or so. Um, and, and, and we cannot take that kind of exam uh, naturally when we are talking about a program that might lead later to a, a, a formal degree, a mestrado degree. And so that's exactly why our type of exam are much more now 
type of exercises in which you have to structure your answer uh, to the specific issue rather than an, just a multiple choice exercise in which you have in average two minutes to decide which or uh, which of them is the right one so that's exactly why what i would say the subjects and the discussions are rough, clearly the same ones but nevertheless you have to kind of run an extra effort for the cfa certification and why because basically the type of exam that we that you are going to face there is going to be somehow different versus what we conduct I'm not sure if it was clear enough. Okay. So regarding payment, you can pay in full, but you can also pay during the 14 months that you are here with us in installments. If you apply to the MIF program, uh, you will then get a, a payment plan that will be discussed with you and it will be um, tailor-made to you, okay? Any other questions? All this information is in our website. You can also, if you want to, so if you have questions or more specific questions or something that you only remembered yourself after the, the presentation, you can call us, you can schedule a, a Zoom call with us, you can come to the university and talk uh, directly face to face with us. Um, you can reach out to us in any um, any time, in any way. Any more questions? I think there is a one extra question which um, it states, and you know, if we have agreements with financial institutions, can we clarify? You know, can or the person that raised the question can? Is it possible to clarify it somehow? Because basically, having a, an agreement with financial institution in terms of job career or getting uh, some of the possible or considering the possibility of having a loan to fight to uh, to finance basically the cost of the program which of the two is the one that you want to raise or basically you know regarding the the first one which is do we have kind of agreements in terms of placement uh no and now nevertheless and now what happens is time to time or quite frequently we are kind of um, approached by institutions in order to uh, requesting CVs for specific uh, jobs uh, and roles that they are looking for and naturally that is kind of what we can uh, somehow promise in the sense that every time that we are uh, contacted naturally we are going to endeavor uh, our an effort in order to you know to somehow as long as students are kind of uh, keen to consider the chances naturally then we'll share the the personal information with the with the counterparty or with the institution that might be uh, requesting regarding a loan to do the program we do have an agreement with Caixa Geral de Deposit if you want to know more about that you can reach out to us and we can share the agreement with you so you can take a loan to do uh, the program Any more questions? So we don't have any more questions. Um, it was great to have you here. I hope you, oh, there is one regarding if you have a GPA regarding proceeding your studies to get the master the master title. 
If you do the curricular part of the MIF program as uh, presented by Philippa, and if you get a GPA uh, which is equal or um, higher than 14, you can go to the master uh, title uh, program. If not, there is no way you can go to the master program. You need to have a GPA equal to 14 with no rounding up. If you want, let's say, let's see, you have a GPA which is under 14. At the end of the program or in with the other, the, the edition that will start in the, the, the uh, year after you completed your program, you can do, um, you can retake your exams to improve your grades. You can take, you can retake two ex up to two exams to improve your grade. And if you choose your exams wisely, you might improve. We have students that done that, that had a GPA that was uh, above, um, that was below 14. And they did the exams and they did improve their GPA. And then they start doing the, the master, um, the program, the course of empirical corporate finance and the thesis to have the master title. Any more questions? Well, regarding this question, what kind of title do we get without the thesis? You get the title of an expert in these areas of finance, but you don't get an academic title. You don't get an academic title such as master or PhD or undergraduate. You get the title of a, uh, someone who is an expert in this, uh, the, the areas that the, the course that the program covers. Is there any more questions? So it was lovely to have you here. Hope you get in touch with us. Hope to see you in the next edition of the program. And if you have any questions or any doubts, please feel free to contact us by email, uh, by phone, uh, come to the university, meet the staff, meet the faculty. We are. We, we are very glad to have you. So reach out to us. It was lovely to have you here. Thank you so much. And from my side, I don't have anything else to, to add. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.